Hi all, welcome once again back to my channel and uh, this tutorial is a continuation of the Lambda functions tutorial where we are going to utilize uh, AWS step function to orchestrate a uh, Lambda function that we have uh, created in the last tutorial. Well, our Lambda function, let us execute that and check what uh, does it do. It basically prints a statement like welcome something from it prints a message basically. Let us run it once again. And let us show you and yes this is the message that our lambda function actually uh, generates and this is the functionality what we are going to do is utilize step functions so what is AWS step function it's basically it's a serverless function orchestrator which makes it easier to work with AWS lambda functions and many other multiple AWS services and creation of a business critical applications so like uh, you can create a flow of step function or a state machine you can create where a particular state uh, a particular entity can have multiple states and on the basis of that state there would be a start and there would be an end and in the middle of that there will be certain steps and on the basis of that steps there can be uh, you can go for a uh, triggering of an AWS Lambda function or even you can go for a storage or deployment into a Fargate instance ECS instance you can go like that in that way in a different way here we are going to utilize a very simple tactics over here so I will uh, select through the AWS console step functions I will go over here and it's already a created one I will delete this one the old one okay I will be creating a new state machine state machine and I will be selecting author code author with code snippet and here this is the flow say this is the entire state machine which has many states say hello is one state and next is uh, the type is pass even we can give it pass we can give value as a fail the result is hello it prints hello just like printing of the function next state is world this is the world and here the type is also a pass type and the result is world result is like an output and end is true so here our entire state flow is going to end at world and it's going to start it's going to start at hello so in this way we are generate generalizing we are creating a flow so in the middle different state states can be like triggering of a lambda function we can utilize that so what I'm going to do is AWS Lambda invoke a function. I will select onto that and select function from the list. I will be selecting our AWS Lambda that is present and uh, I'm not going to pass any payload or input because my Lambda function doesn't accept any inputs. I'm going to copy this to the clipboard and I'm going to paste it in the middle. And next state our next state i will put it as a world format json as you can see i have introduced an invoke lambda function and the type is a task and here the task is to access the trigger the function this with no payload and the next step of this particular invoke lambda state is world so what my plan is to make this invoke lambda function just after the word hello so what i'm going to do is the next of this hello the next state to hello is this and hence after hello there will be an invoke lambda function and then there will be world so i will be select and i will be i will have to give a name over here that would that would come later I think yeah next my state machine one let me select as this create new role a new role would be created and logger level I will keep it as all and AWS states this is the CloudWatch logger group that I'm going to select I'm going to select a new group and tags which is optional I won't be giving any tag and I will create the state machine 
and our state machine is created i will go to the state functions over here and in the state machines if i come you will find that one state machine is there and uh, function state function is this get started sorry state machine is this i will be selecting this state machine and i will go for ex start execution this execution id this is an execution name that is going to start and in the comment input i am not going to give anything and i am going to start its execution once the execution is started you will see that hello world and invoking lambda it has all passed there can be different branches like after hello you can give choices whether to invoke a lambda function one or there would be another lambda function we can invoke that on the basis of the user input we will follow the those case studies later on and if we come down over here the task has been scheduled like invoke lambda functions the invoke uh, lambda functions related are uh, like task entered task scheduled started succeed and exited and here i will uh, click on the cloudwatch logs and i will monitor it whether our uh, lambda function has been triggered or not and as per the latest log it which is at 931 i will select onto this and yes this is the latest log 156 welcome to lambda from learn news so from the cloud watch we can see that our uh, logging facilities has been uh, displayed over here whatever logs that we try to uh, display it with the help of the lambda function and in this way we have triggered lambda function with the help of a step function that is by creating a state machine so it's a pretty much simple we can orchestrate many other components along with that whatever we want to make in our enterprise level uh, business critical applications so this concludes our tutorial over here so hope you are liking learn news subscribe to my channel click the bell button to get the notification of the first support tutorials videos thank you so much for my support for your support and support me and provide me with more likes so that i can come with come up with new exciting tutorials thank you thanks a lot